For thousands of years, Hebrew language experts have been studying the numerical, pictographic, and ideographic meanings and hidden messages of Hebrew words. Hebrew is a very ancient language deriving from one of the oldest known languages in the world, Aramaic. The two languages, Aramaic and Hebrew, are subsequently very closely related. There are many within the Hebrew language community that believe that the Hebrew language carries with it an element of divinity. They believe this largely because the Old Testament scriptures, which include the very words of God, were written in Hebrew. For many thousands of years, Hebrew scholars and linguists have ascribed numerical values to each of the Hebrew letters. From these numerical values, meaning is often derived from a particular name, idea, or statement as it is written in Hebrew. This practice is called the gematria. Many biblical scholars suggest that perhaps John's reference in Revelation 13 to the Antichrist having a number attached to his name is a reference to the Hebrew gematria. Perhaps it is a clue in solving the mystery of the identification of the Antichrist. In addition to the numerical values attached to each Hebrew letter, there is also an ideographic and pictographic meaning assigned. An ideogram is a symbol that represents an idea, like the male and female shape signs that one sees on the outside of public restroom doors. The Hebrew symbols or pictures and idea expressions of each Hebrew letter are also ancient in their origin. We have unearthed archaeological remains of Hebrew ideographs, stories or ideas expressed in pictures and symbols. Each symbol is related to a particular Hebrew letter. There are several ancient ideographic meanings for each of the Hebrew letters, each letter carrying its own unique symbol which represents that idea. The letter Aleph, for example, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, can mean both ox or bull. Bet, the second letter, can represent the words house or tent. But in each case, the ideas represented by the letters are very closely related. And so it is possible for someone who understands this practice and information to arrive at pictographic and ideographic meanings attached to certain Hebrew words. An amazing example of how this works can be demonstrated on the word Satan. Satan is an untranslated Hebrew word. That is to say, the name Satan is Hebrew. It literally means the adversary, or the one who contends against us. But what is its ideographic meaning? The word for Satan is written with three Hebrew letters, Shin, Tet, Nun. The ideograms for each of these three letters are as follows. The Shin means to consume or destroy. Tet means a snake or to surround. Nun means life. The consuming and destroying snake that surrounds the whole of life. This is a pretty amazing revelation when one considers that this is exactly the way in which Satan is pictured in the entirety of the Bible. From the snake in the garden to Jesus' warnings that Satan is that old serpent and that he comes to kill and steal and destroy. Yet for thousands of years, his very name, Satan, written in the holy language of Hebrew, has expressed the idea of who he really is. It has been veiled, but now revealed through Hebrew ideograms.